A double whammy this weekend. First, frost and freeze alerts tonight for millions across the Northeast, plus a nor'easter. Not in January, bringing feet of snow to Central Park, but bringing lots of rain and wind gusts 60 to 70 miles per hour for some from the Carolinas up into the Northeast this weekend. Flash meteorologist Dave Downey with you. October is supposed to be one of the quietest weather months of the year if we don't have mischief going on in the tropics. But we have plenty to talk about as we head into the second weekend of October. First, let's talk about the nor'easter. It's not exactly common we talk about these in October, but still, this is all forming thanks to a cold front. There is the front marched off the eastern seaboard yesterday, brought the big time cool down and those frost and freeze alerts we'll talk about here in just a second. But this front has stalled out. It's lost its momentum, and it's going to form a new area of low pressure down here in the southwestern Atlantic and drift its way right on up I-95 over the next three days or so through the weekend. First, rain starts Friday night into Saturday morning across South Carolina, North Carolina, a wet weekend across the Carolinas, at least the eastern half of the Carolinas. This could be an issue for the Outer Banks. We could see, we already saw some homes washed away from the impacts of Imelda and Humberto hundreds of miles away. Coastal flooding will be a major problem with this nor'easter in the Outer Banks, the Chesapeake Bay, the Jersey Shore, Long Island, maybe even up into Massachusetts as well. Saturday afternoon, the rain, here it goes, starts migrating north. Here's 5 a.m. Sunday morning, still raining across central, northeastern North Carolina, and the heaviest rain now pushing up into Washington, D.C., Baltimore, Philly, a wet Sunday across I-95 from D.C. into Philly, into the tri-state, New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut as well, even up into Boston. Here's 2 p.m. Sunday, heavy rain in Boston, and this will slowly start to taper off Sunday night into Monday. Some showers, though. Here's noon, lunchtime on Monday, still sticking around for a good chunk of the Northeast. By Monday night into Tuesday, finally gets out of here and some cool weather again settles in. Before we talk frost freeze tonight, let's show you some wind gusts that we could have with this system, especially in the coastal areas. First in the Carolinas on Friday into Saturday, we'll have some wind gusts, likely 30 to 40 miles per hour, especially in the Outer Banks. Nothing too crazy in the Carolinas, but still we'll likely see Highway 12 shut down along the Outer Banks. And then the strong winds will move northward Saturday into Sunday. Look at some of these gusts, 52, 40 plus mile per hour wind gusts Saturday into Sunday before they finally taper off. Now, lows tonight are going to be into the 20s and the 30s from central Ohio, Michigan, up into New England. The dark purple here is a freeze warning up for upstate New York, central Pennsylvania, even all the way down into northern Virginia. The Appalachian Mountains seeing, uh, yeah, look at that. The first freeze warning of the year up into or down into close to Charlottesville, Virginia. The light blue, this is a frost advisory from northeastern Indiana, Michigan, Buffalo, New York, and Philly. I don't. Philly is not technically included in this frost advisory, neither is New York City, but lows tonight, chilly. We might even have some teens. Here's Friday morning's lows on Long Island in the low 40s, upper 40s along the Jersey Shore, but you had not that far into upstate New York, Albany, New York, Utica, the Twin Tiers here. Yeah, freezing, literally freezing tonight. The uh, dark blue here, or I guess the, the baby blue, further towards Canada, up into New Hampshire, Mount Washington, New Hampshire. There could be some lows in the teens tonight. Oh, yeah. Here we are in early to mid-October, and the chill is here. Lows across Ohio, generally in the 30s and 40s tonight as well. Also tracking this weekend what will be, there's a uh, tropical storm uh, right off the uh, tropical storm Priscilla, 
right off Baja, California there. It is going to move into California, weaken as it does so, at least southern, far southern California. But this is going to be a four corners issue this weekend. Look at all this rain across Arizona, Phoenix, Flagstaff up into Utah, southwestern Colorado. We are in a drought in the Four Corners region, but we don't want too much rain at once. And that's what we could be seeing Friday, Saturday. That rain will taper off somewhat by Sunday, but then it just kind of heads south and east. So a lot going on heading into this weekend. Apple picking, pumpkin patches will be fine across the midsection of the country, but the east coast, Arizona, New Mexico, portions of Colorado, a washout ahead. This nor'easter, of course, could have brought snow if it happened three months later. Maybe this winter pattern will be favorable for snow for nor'easters like these as we head into the winter months. Fun winter products coming from Flash, maybe a snow day parameter. We've got the hail product on its final legs before official launch and some even cooler stuff coming in the pipeline for next severe weather season. Flash the pioneer of the next generation of weather predictions. Stay with us this weekend and through the end of hurricane season. This hurricane season does run through November 30th.